good morning good morning guys welcome uh, to you all for this lecture on multiplexer i am ashish sharma assistant professor in jaipur engineering college in research center and today we will discuss the aspect of an important topic that is multiplexer how a multiplexer is used and how we can implement it for different kind of problems so we start Okay, so uh, I'm from basically from JCRC College, and I'm assistant professor in a department of electronics and communication. And uh, what is basically the multiplexer is the multiplexer by definition. If we say the multiplexer is a combination of circuit that has maximum two power n data inputs, where n represent the selection lines and the single output line. one of these data inputs will be connected to the output based on the values of selection line since there are n selection lines there will be a two for n possible combination of zeros and ones so each combination will select only one data input multiplexer is also called as mux okay fine so basically the multiplexer is basically the device which has multiple inputs and one output and similarly the demultiplexer is just an opposite which has one input and many output and multiplexer is can be considered as a medium to which only one input is selected and transferred to the output a very beautiful example of multiplexer is shown in a next slide here in multiplexer there is a four inputs in the middle in a blue box rectangular box there is a d0 d1 d2 d3 here d0 d1 d2 d3 represent the data data inputs that's why we represent from d and the multiple sources are there mp3 player can be considered as a one input laptop sound card can be considered as another input digital satellite another input and digital cable tv is considered as another input now if it transfer sound of any input to the output then we can consider these all sources okay now i want to play a music from my mp3 player only but i have four inputs so i need to select only one to select the mp3 player i assign it as a d0 now how this will be selected this will be selected based on the selection lines the selections lines are given here as a a and b now when a and b are 0 0 because these are binary but we know that uh, in digital format there is only two input 0 and 1 and the combination of these 0 and 1 represent the number for example if we consider here a and b are a selection line And if A and B are zero and zero, the MP3 player will be selected, and the output of MP3 will player will be transferred to the our surround sound system. If zero one is selected, then all other inputs like digital T satellite, digital cable TV, or MP3 player will be blocked. Only zero one will be selected. Here the zero one line of laptop sound card is missing, but This is a minor mistake, but you can consider it. For example, another one zero. If one zero is selected, then the output of digital satellite is transferred to to select to our surround sound system. So this is a very beautiful example of the multiplexer. So multiplexer selects only one input among several inputs, and the selected input depends only 
on upon selected lines or selection lines. If we select zero zero, docking station will be selected. Zero one, laptop is selected. One zero, digital satellite is selected or digital cable TV selected when the inputs are one and one. So this is an example. Okay. So now in very mathematical language, we can say that if we consider M integer constant by following relationship M equal to two to the power N. If there is a M number of inputs, N number of inputs, the output will be two to the power N. M to one multiplexer. M inputs I0, I1, I2, I3, I ki power I M minus one and output is Y. Control inputs S0, S1, Sn minus one. Now we will look the example of or block diagram of the multiplexer. Here D0, D1, D2, D3, till Dn minus one. These are the data inputs. E is a enable. E works only when E has input zero and one only. If the value of Z, if value of E is zero, then our multiplexer will be disabled. And if the enable is one, our multiplexer will be enabled. And S zero, S one till S n minus one is our selection inputs, and Y is a output. Now there is a many types of multiplexers are there in our study. Two to one multiplexer, four to raised to one multiplexer, eight raised to one multiplexer, and sixteen raised to one multiplexer. And you know the relationship between input and output is m equal to power n. So if the selection line is one, there is a two input. Selection line is two to the power two. That is a four input. Selection line is three. To the power three, eight inputs, and selection lines are four to the power four, sixteen inputs. Example of four raised to one multiplexer. I skipped the two raised to one multiplexer because if we study the four raised to one multiplexer, it will automatically cover two to the power one multiplexer. So four raised to one multiplexer is as shown in a figure. Again, I zero, I one, I two, I three are the inputs. S zero, S one are our control. Inputs and one output. Always there is a one output in multiplexer. And enable is D. Okay. Now, if the multiplexer is enabled, then only it will work. Otherwise, it will be always zero. If our selection lines are zero and zero, the output will be I zero. Or we can say the input eight. I zero will pass through multiplexer only. If it is zero one, then the input I one will pass through multiplexer only. And if one zero, then input I two will be passed and it will appear at the output. Similarly, at one one, I equal to A three. Now by the Boolean question: If we form this relationship between S zero, S one, and inputs in form of Boolean expression, then this will be y equal to z i zero S one dash S zero dash z i one S one dash S zero z i two S one S zero dash plus z i three S one S zero. Here z is Considered as a enable, and it is its value is always one. So d the value is always one. If z equals to zero, then our multiplexer will be disabled. Okay, implementing a digital function by multiplexer. I have taken an example of multiplexer here. A very simple example. F A B C D. It is a four input. Now it is a four input A B C D equals to summation of m one three five seven eight ten twelve thirteen fourteen plus don't care four six fifteen. This D don't care basically considered as either you can apply here zero or either you can apply here one. That is why if now A B C D we know by four variables A B C D the maximum combination. Can be made as fifteen zero to 
50 similarly 1111 so that's why here inputs will be 0 to 15 and our selection lines will be s0 s1 s2 s3 now m1357812 that basically mean apply one at all these inputs 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 12, 13, 14. That is why in this block diagram, input lines I1, I3, I5, I7, I8, I10, I12, 13, 14, 15, sorry, 14 is connected to 1. And 4, 6, 15 are connected to don't I don't care. You can apply either zero here or one here. It doesn't matter. It is one of the most simple example. Okay. Another example is four raised to one multiplexer. In this example, to design a three variable logic function, we try to use four raised to one multiplexer, then it raised to one multiplexer. Okay. Now here x y z. Know that inputs are x y z m equal to 1, 2, 4, 7, x, y, z, and it makes the combination 2 to the power 3. 2 to the power 3 means 0 to 7, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, and we will implement using 4 raised to 1 multiplexer rather than 8 raised to 1 pixel. Okay, how will we do? Now, here, f x, y, z equals to m1247. If we write 1 in a binary form, then 1 is written as 0, 0, 1. 2 is written as 0, 1, 0. 4 is written as 1, 0, 0. And 7 is written as 1, 1, 1. So if 1 equals to 0, 0, 1, then it is x bar, y bar, z. Here we represent by x dash y dash z. Same if we present 2, then it is 0, 1, 0. x dash y z dash. In this form, a canonic form is obtained in equation 1. Now, there is two kind of solutions are there. Assume that x equals to s1, y equals to s0. That basically means both the inputs x and y are applied on selection lines s1 and s0. If f is to be obtained from the output 4 raised to 1 multiplexer, then now x and y are replaced by s1, s0, dash i0, s1, s0, i1, s1, s0, dash i2, s1, s0, i3. From equation 1 and 2, if we compare, we found i0 equals to i3 equals to z and i1 equals to i2 equals to z i0 i1 z dash so we connect the terminals i0 i3 to z and i1 i3 to z dash should be used and not get so i1 and i2 are connected to the inverted form of z as shown in figure. So this is a very basic implementation of this equation fxyz equals to summation m1247 using 4 raised to 1 multiplexer. Another possible solution. Now here we used x and y on selection lines. But if we use z and x on selection line, obviously, by default, Y value will be applied to the input. In the same way, the output will be changed and I1 and I2 is, I1 and I3 is applied to Y and I0 and I2 is applied to the Y value. Now, here the diagram below shows the relationship between the multiplexer and the multiplexer. The multiplexer is basically the type of device which has many input and one output. But the demultiplexer has only one input and many output. The multi demultiplexer 
was similar to the opposite to the multiplexer. The multiplexer has one to m multiplexer with active high output has i inputs enabled input when the device connected to decoder and active high output y0, y1, y2, 2, y m minus 1 and s0, s1, s2, 2, s m minus 1 selection line. This is a characteristic table. What this characteristic table shows us, this characteristic table is basically of the e multiplexer. Here the input is always 1. Control input will be 0, 0. If the control inputs will be 0, 0, the output I0 equals to 1. If 0, 1, the output Y1 equals to 1. And all other outputs will be 0 because it is 1 to many. 1 to 4. Then if 1, 0 is selected, the output Y2 equals to 1. And if 1, 1 is selected, the output Y3 equals to one. Now, if input is zero, what basically means we have enabled E equals to zero. The control function or control inputs will not work and our output should be zero, 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 zero at all the terminals. Now, this is for active high state. Now, if we consider as an active low state, in this case, the 0, 0, S1, the, is for active high output and it is for active low outputs. Active low output basically means here all the other outputs are 0 when particular input is selected. But in case of low outputs, all the outputs are in a high state when particular input is selected. This is the difference between active high outputs and active low outputs. Now a decoder. Now decoder is a demultiplexer with a change in the name of the inputs. In case of demultiplexer, when the IC is used as a decoder, the input I is enabled as a enable input. Decoder is similar, but there is a no selection line. Decoder in table two and three. No. Okay. Uh, there is some kind of few basics about decoder. You can go through this all, but uh, I don't think it is very necessary. Let me tell you about the decoder. Now, enable zero 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 zero. Control inputs zero 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 one one zero one one and output zero triple one. Now oh, this is a low output state. That basically means enable is zero. If enable is zero, our decoder will work. For example, if zero zero control inputs S1 and S0 is zero zero, the enable input is zero, it will be selected and output will appear at YZ. In the same way, for a case of 0, 1, enable is 0. The output will appear at y1 in a form of 0. And all others are outputs are at 1 because of the low state output. And using this table, we form the equation of y0, y1, y2, y3, that is e plus s1 plus s0. E plus S1 plus S0 dash, E plus S1 dash plus S0, and E plus S1 dash plus S0. A cross couple set of NAND gates. Now, there is a very good example of flip flop, cross couple gate of NAND gate, and uh, uh, this flip flops are used in a variety of application like, like storing of the bed, the cross couple set of NAND gates. And uh, I will tell you about these all flip-flops in the next lecture. Till then, thank you so much.